Hello, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to migrate your data from Lautech email address, I mean Lautech official email address. So for this tutorial you will be needing two email addresses, the official email address from where you are transferring the data and another email account where you are transferring the data to. So I would advise you open the two email address in my case this is my Lautech email address as you can see and this is another email address where I plan to transfer the data to okay so um, having opened the two quickly let's do the migration now there are two parts to this tutorial the first part is transferring data from one email to the other another part is for those who have big files in their drives for those who have big files in their drive and it might be difficult for them to transfer such file so the easiest thing for that is click on these nine menus and look for drive and open the drive it will show you when the drive opens to show you all the files you have in my drive click on my drive Unfortunately, there is nothing in this drive right now that I can see. There is nothing. So, if you have anything in your drive, you can click on it and you will be able to download those files. Now, uh, the second method is transferring the entire data or the partial data. Let's see how to do that in a moment. So, click on settings. I'm back to the email address. Don't forget, I have opened the other email address where I want to transfer the data to. So I am back to my Lautech email address and I click on settings this time around. Settings. You click on settings and click on all settings. All settings. All settings. From all settings, the first uh, general label inbox, click on accounts. Accounts. Account. click on account account and the next option is click on Google account settings Google account settings so Google account settings will load a form of settings page and the first card we have the first container we have shows transfer transfer Gmail from Google Drive and to another account so start transfer now specify the email address where you are transferring to in my own case, I'm transferring to backup email backup 2424 at gmail.com. Email backup 2424 at gmail.com. Email backup 2424 at gmail.com. So I'll fill in the name email backup 2424 at gmail.com. Then require that a code be sent. You can see sending code. You can see sending code. Alright, so email backup should have received a notification. Let's see. Yes. Uh, verify your account request. Look at it. Uh, verify your account. A request has been made to transfer to your account from this account. Yes. Now, this is why I advise that you use a computer, a laptop, or your desktop computer, at most, your tablet. I will not advise that you use your phone because at this point you might not be able to receive the code if you are using your mobile devices. So click on generate code. It will open a new tab with the required code. All right. So copy the code, then take it back to where you have your official email address and enter the code. I paste the code in my own case now. So click on verify. Also, so it has connected the two accounts. Now it's time for me to select what I want to transfer. If you have big files to avoid errors, to avoid uh, the other drive as well being full, and you know, all sorts of issues. So I recommend or I suggest to you that you download your big files manually, or better still, just off drive transfer and enable just 
email transfer. But in my own case, obviously, there is no even the drive, so I can just enable the tool and say start transfer. Start transfer. It will start packing whatever it is in that, you can see, in that email and be moving it to the new destination gradually. Sometimes it might take a week for the entire data to be migrated, but it will definitely be migrated and you will receive a notification after the migration. So we've come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you.